Dr. Backpacker and Kids, and we are in the backcountry campground of Shade State Park in western Indiana, one of the few Midwestern state parks that have dedicated backpacking and canoe camping. Shade State Park is known for its sandstone cliffs overlooking Sugar Creek and shady ravines that make it a good destination for hiking and canoeing. But with the summer months, woods and shade come insects too. In this episode, we will discuss ticks, the arachnids that don't have to ruin your trip. We will discuss how to identify them, safely remove them, protect against them, and how to identify the signs that may require a trip to the doctor. See you at the trailhead. backpacker here and kids and on our hike today I picked up a tick on my leg and so we're gonna talk about how to get a tick off your leg and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a hold of behind the end of it and then I'm gonna pull it straight back in order to get the head it's really important to get the head when doing this so I'm gonna try to get a good hold of it get it close to the body I'm gonna try to pull back When you get it, you want to make sure you have the head. So I'm looking at it, making sure I've got the head on there too. Now, if the head did not come out, I'd want to use the tweezers to get that out too. Of the many ticks in Indiana, the American dog tick, lone stall tick, and the black leg old deal tick are the most common. Here I picked up an adult female American dog tick and was able to identify it and safely remove it soon after it became embedded. When in the woods, it's important to check for ticks on the legs, scalp, hairline, arms, and waist often and to remove ticks as soon as identified. Don't use matches, lighters, or nail polish remover to remove them. Tweezers is the safest method. Wash off after being outdoors and clean the area after removing a tick with alcohol or soap and water. Ticks that have been on for over 36 hours or develop a large rash like this bullseye rash have a higher risk of having an associated infection like Lyme disease from a bacteria transmitted from the tick's bite. Although most commonly Lyme disease is transmitted via the deer or black-legged tick, other tick-related infections can also be spread like Rocky Mountain spotted fever and tularemia from the American dog tick. So if the tick was on your skin for over 36 hours or you have a rash, flu-like symptoms, or enlarged lymph nodes, quickly see a doctor for antibiotics, which if administered soon, can lower the risk of developing Lyme disease. Wear bug spray with DEET. Cover up and follow these rules and you'll still be able to have fun in the woods. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks and see you at the trailhead.